is the world The what's in the world All right, it's day one of ICAST. Well, yesterday was day one, but yesterday was more of the on the water testing day. Um, it wasn't really convention day. Today is day one of convention day. Um, there's three days of convention, but I'm only here for two. Um, my schedule didn't allow me to stay till Friday, so I'm only doing Wednesday and Thursday. Two days, squeezing everything in. A normal three day, hectic, crazy week, moving into a two day week. Um, so anyway, we're getting ready to leave. Um, I got up at, uh, what was it, 5.30 or 6.30 or something like that this morning. And uh, I'm out here on the pond. We have a little pond back here. This is the house we're in, a little pool, hot tub, everything. Um, and then uh, there's a mango tree over there. There's a banana tree right here. There's uh, some citrus trees over here. Um, pineapples over here, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we have these little ducks over here I wanted to walk over because, you know, we have fruit in Michigan. We don't have these ducks. I don't know what kind of ducks they are, but they're really cool. Yeah, I don't know what they are, the cool ducks. I think they're used to getting fed because they're uh, they're pretty friendly and they're not really spooked easily. But there's a bunch of them on this pond over here. There's probably like another 20 over there. But those ducks were going after my topwater frog last night. I was throwing a topwater frog and uh, those ducks were going after it. So, yeah, let me show you guys some, some Florida plants. We don't have these in Michigan. Oh, look, there's little lizards. Oh, there's lizards everywhere. I just made a comment about how there was no lizards out here, and I walk out here and there's like 10 lizards just chilling. Uh, so look at this. There's a pineapple. And look at this little baby one. That's a baby pineapple. Yeah, we don't have those in Michigan, so it's cool to me. I mean, we sell them at the stores, but we don't like grow them in Michigan. Look at these little lizards. This thing is so fast. All right, guys. So it's hot out here, but I got my Florida shirt on. The vibes are good, the day's gonna be good, the weather's awesome, and uh, we're gonna go to iCast and have some fun, so let's just fast forward to iCast. All right, day two, technically day one, of the iCast convention. Day one was yesterday, but day one of the actual convention is today. So here's what it looks like full today. But we'll walk around, and I'll show you guys some really cool stuff from today. I'm gonna do really short clips, but you guys can always check out my Facebook page, um, the, just the Mike McKinstry Facebook page and the Basquatch Hunter TV Facebook page. I'm going to be going live on both of them um, and showing you guys some really cool products and really cool stuff and doing some interviews with some people today. So let's get day one started. A lot of walking today. Oh, look at that movement. Uh, squared out well, that BG. Squared is actually cleared really nice. That's insane. So this is not a real fish, guys. This is not a real fish. So watch it. Watch it. Kill it. When you kill it. Uh, it's around this side. We can look at it. When you pick it back up. Look at that. Is it, is it the wounded swim? <laughs> so what's this bait called? Powerbait Gilly. 
So this is the power bait ghillie from Berkeley Fishing. Brand new this and year. This is, look at the movement on this. Oops, so the faster you retrieve it, the tighter the wobble gets on it. The slower you retrieve it, right. gives it more of a slower swimming pattern. You can also let it fall dead in the water and it gives it that wounded fish look on the bottom or a feeding fish on the bottom. Depends on how you move it and how you hook it. Yep, exactly. But this is definitely an all-around bait, especially up here in Michigan. So you guys gotta check this thing out. This is probably one of my most exciting baits that I'm gonna show you all day. Uh, but this thing is incredible. So, I think that. I th All right, guys. So I stopped by uh, the booth that has the best damn fishing shows and outdoor shows in the industry, including this guy right here. And look what's on the TV. That's the episode I just did with Kyle Neely from the band Sponge. And it just happens to be on the TV as I walked by. It wasn't planned. I swear. Maybe they did, but if they did, that's even better. But uh, it's pretty cool, guys. So. And new ways to catch fish and have as much fun. As that's pretty sweet. iCast wouldn't be complete without uh, Bill Dance here, the legend himself, and his amazing daughter Pam. Um, wouldn't be the same without having Bill Dance here. Uh, really cool thing is I walked by and he stopped and said hi to me. Might sound weird, but coming from a guy who's like literally like my idol in the sport um, and for what I do with my TV show, uh, for him to stop and look at me and goes, hey Mike, nice to see ya. Pretty darn cool. That was probably like my highlight of the day, not gonna lie. Might've been my highlight of the week so far, but it's always good to see Mr. Bill dance and uh, his daughter, uh, she's amazing. Uh, I'm lucky enough to call them friends, but we'll catch up with them again later when they're not so busy. I don't like uh, I don't like bugging them when I know they just got here, so. But we'll catch up with them again later and do more stuff for sure. You know, I couldn't walk around iCast without showing you guys a feel free booth, uh, three water, seat stream, Johnny boat. So I'm gonna show you guys some new stuff for feel free kayaks. So this will be the first, first video of feel free kayaks here that we're showing. So this right here is the Big Fish 103 from Three Waters Kayaks. Don't mind my drink there. So this is the Big Fish 103. So most of you guys know I have this kayak. I love this kayak. I use it all the time, but this one is a little bit different. So this is something that if you already have the kayak, you can buy separately, but check this out. The Big Fish seat now has integrated lumbar support. So you have adjustments right here and you can see how it adjusts your lumbar support right here on the seat. Also, the seat is a lot higher because it has this 360 rotating option now. So now the seat rotates 360 degrees. You pull the knob and you just turn it and it locks in place. So you can have the seat angled. You can hang your feet off the side like this, or you can turn the seat all the way around and you can fish backwards if you want to, or reach your crate or whatever you want to do. That's how simple it is though. But the, the new rotating seat right here, this thing is super, super cool. The lumbar support on the back. And of course, the Three Waters Kayak has the recessed rod holders with rod leashes integrated, the Unitrack system on the back and the front, molded handles on the sides and on the front and back, rod tip protectors, has front storage hatch with a transducer arm that drops down. And then you have the eight ball steering right here. So you get some cool street cred on the water. You look tough, you look cool, like a little hot rod. And turn left, right, really simple. And that's the Big Fish 103. Let me show you the hull design too. So this is a true tri-hull design, you can see that. That's how this thing cuts through the water so well. So that's the Three Waters 103. Make sure you guys check your dealer and ask them to see the Big Fish 103 from Three Waters Kayaks. So walking around iCast is, uh, it's a lot of fun, but you gotta remember too, coming to iCast is, this is our job. Like we're working right now, like walking around and seeing people's fun, seeing new products is fun, but this is my job. Like this is where I go to talk to brands. I kind of network with people. 
Um, I talk to, uh, you know, I get some advice from people. Uh, it's a really cool event just to walk around and network and, you know, we have meetings, we have a lot of like obligations, a lot of things to do. This year is actually really nice because it's the first year where I'm not running around like crazy um, because it is smaller um, than normal because of the shutdowns and not, uh, not every brand showed up and some brands went smaller this year. So it's a little bit lower key, which is nice. I actually like it. I get to do more of this, do more vlogging. I get to walk around more. I get to have longer conversations with people. I'll bring some more content to you guys in a minute. I'm gonna show you what's at the Real Blaze and Yak Air booth shortly too. But I'm gonna stop by my friends here at the Pursuit Channel and have a little talk. So we're at the Real Blaze booth right now, Real Blaze and Yak Gear. So here's some of the new products from Real Blaze and Yak Gear. There's this tackle caddy right here. You can put your phone right here in the slot if you want. Pliers right here, cup holders. There's little hook holders right here so you can hang your baits off of it. That's new. Uh, this line spooler is new, which is super cool, guys. Um, oh, sorry. This right here is brand new. So a lot of really cool stuff from Yak Gear and Railblazer too. Um, all these accessories right here are all Yak Gear and Railblazer. That's what I use in my kayak, in my garage, my trailer. I've been using Yak Gear and Railblazer accessories for about five years now. Uh, so if you need any kind of parts for your boat, accessories, boat, kayak, uh, anything to be creative and hang on your walls and your uh, man cave, check out Railblazer and Yak Gear first. Um, you can get them at every store, pretty much everywhere. So ask your local retailer for Railblazer or Yak Gear stuff. Uh, but awesome stuff there. So this is the part of uh, this is the part of the fun that becomes work. I have brands I have to go talk to. I get to promote my show, talk about what we do, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So I'll be back soon, guys. So I just got a picture with Jimmy Houston. It's a huge name in fishing. He's been around forever. He's a great dude. And uh, I walked by him, and he goes, "Hey, I like your shirt." I was like, "Yeah, it's my Florida shirt." And he said, it looks like a Hawaii shirt. I was like, yeah, well, I'm from Michigan. So everywhere south of uh, Tennessee is Hawaii to me. So either way, that was pretty cool. I got a compliment on my shirt from the man. Um, Jimmy Houston's a great dude, though. Check him out, Jimmy Houston Outdoors. But I am on the hunt to go find somebody that I'm looking for to go meet with real quick. Uh, I got a few hours left of day one of iCast. And then uh, get to go back to the house, start editing this vlog. All right, guys, I just had an awesome meeting with the company that I wanted to work with, um, I wanted to talk to, and uh, they were super interested. They love the show, they love the idea. Um, I have a really unique thing I do when I talk to a company for the first time. Um, I do a lot of homework. I'm not, uh, I'm not like every other person. I, I do a lot of homework. I come up with marketing strategies and ideas and plans. And when I pitch a brand, I don't just pitch my show. I pitch the synergy of my show with their brand. And I do a sales pitch based off of how I would promote them as if I already work with them. And uh, kind of get let them visualize what it would look like of us working together. And it's always worked out really well. Uh, but I just had a great meeting. It went really well. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I got a few more to go. And then uh, we'll be heading home for the night. All right, guys, so I had another really big meeting with a really big company, and uh, it's amazing. Uh, the company was really excited. They said they loved my format, um, they loved what I did, and they thought what I did was super unique and fun, which it is. And uh, one thing I hear a lot from brands is they always say they could feel my passion radiating from me. Now, that was a quote, but it's true. I'm really passionate about what I do, and I love what I do, and that's, that's kind of how I live my life, is if you don't love it, you don't enjoy it, then don't do it. So, going back to the uh, Yak Gear booth for a little bit. I'm gonna say hi to some people. It's uh, 3.30 right now, so we got about an hour left. And then, uh, yep, that's it. There was an after party I was invited to tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna go because COVID's kinda weird. Um, it's kinda weird being here, not wearing a mask, and nobody's wearing masks. And it's like it's 2019. We're partying like it's 2019 kind of weird but 
hopefully everyone's safe and uh, everything goes well. So it's hard being from Michigan where everything's been so strict and everyone wears a mask still and it's kind of weird. And then you come here and it's literally like 2019 all over again where everybody's kind of you know, shaking hands. I'm trying not to shake hands too much. I'm trying to fist bump everybody. I'm using hand sanitizer every time I come in contact with somebody. Um, it's, it's crazy. But, all right. I'll see you guys back in a minute here. So walk around the Berkeley booth a little bit more. The alcohol is starting to flow. But these are the, uh, right behind you. These are all the new baits that Berkeley is dropping this year. That one I'm most excited about. These are all new baits though. And uh, there's a lot of new stuff that Berkeley is dropping. But, iCast day one of the convention is about to end. Technically, it's iCast day two. I'm starting to lose my breath from talking all day. My feet hurt from walking all day. But, oh, I love this place, man. I tell you what, I miss this so much. This is my first actual like fishing convention since 2019. I usually have about seven or eight a year or so at least. So it's weird, but this is so nice. Ah. Oh. So here's the eye cast. Let's get ready to wrap up here, guys. We got about a half hour left. Everyone's kind of getting their uh, drinking a little bit, letting their hair down a little bit. So hope you guys like the vlog so far. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at Basquatch Hunter TV and Facebook. And uh, today was a very successful day. Tomorrow I have uh, two really big meetings that I'm really excited about. A few small ones, but two really big ones that I'm really excited about. So uh, wish me luck. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Happy hour, cheers everybody. Thanks for stopping by the Coastal Booth. My name is Rich Ortiz, happy to be performing. Right, guys so day one of the iCast show is over and we're heading back to the house uh, I might go out to dinner um, and uh, just hang out and start editing this vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the iCast so far and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two and it's my last day here that I'm flying home so I'll try to do another vlog tomorrow um, if I can but either way I hope you enjoyed iCast so far and uh, we'll see you guys soon make sure you subscribe to the channel and see you on the water <laughs>